Hi, I'm Ray Romano, and I've known Harry Friedman for a long time. It made me feel very good when Harry came begging to me to introduce this video. Take a look. And making the sale requires a term I know you're all familiar with, but I like to call strategic planning. I know you've heard this term a million times. I know there are those of you out there that are involved in implementing strategic planning. But today, I want to give you my definition of what I mean by the term strategic planning. Our host company, RRI, in my opinion, is the best in the field. And success like this can only come from one source, leadership. People such as their president and CEO, Walter Hall. Now that I've gotten that remark out of the way, <laughs> let me tell you, I really have no idea if Walter is all that great or not as a leader. But now that I have successfully kissed up to Walter, I stand a good chance of being rehired to speak again at next year's meeting. <laughs> That's strategic planning. <laughs> Our next speaker, Dr. Harry Friedman, is actually an old friend of his. We've asked him to say a few words tonight about Ed, as well as to talk about some ideas that help the next administration continue the tremendous legacy. Please welcome Dr. Harry Friedman. The fact is, Ed has a very powerful way with words. He always has strong messages in his speeches, such as advice and questions during the circulation that 20% of them will meet their future wives at Alfred. What he fails to mention is 62% of them will also meet their future ex-wives at Alfred. <laughs> then there is a great accomplishment of that, like turning the Rogers Campus Center into the Powell Campus Center. Which basically means for enough money, we'll remove an old donor's name right off the building <laughs> and paint it over with a new one as if the first thing that we <laughs> He's a member of the National Board of Sports Medicine and the author of this bestseller, Cut to Win. Please welcome Dr. Harry Friedman. Okay, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, a guy's hurt, but, but you know you can give him. Would you give him pain cover to get him through one game? Uh, I would never give a player a medication unless uh, it's absolutely necessary, like uh, if the game's really close and I have a lot of money bet on that game. <laughs> uh, in which case, I'll shoot him so high, he'll be able to fly away. <laughs> Oh my, Dr. Friedman, uh, something I think we all want to know, where exactly did you go to medical school? Well, I didn't go to any one location. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of one of those correspondent courses, you know, with the welder on late night TV. Uh, uh, people don't think it's prestigious, but I not only got my degree, I got a nice set of tools, so... Uh... <laughs> I mean, where did you find time to, to even write that book? Well, I think that's best answered by reading my next book, which is entitled uh, Managing Your Time in Prison. Uh, <laughs> by former Dr. Harry Friedman. Well, I've had some problems. Yeah, I understand. And uh, thank you for being here with us tonight. Dr. Harry Friedman. Right? <laughs>